Hello everybody. Welcome to Let's Learn Excel. I'm your Excel instructor. Guys, today we will learn about split function in VBA. Guys, split function in VBA is self-explanatory function. You can read whatever is there. What actually split function does. It actually splits the string into some substrings and returns one dimensional array of our substrings. All right. And this is the syntax we actually use to uh, you know split the strings into substrings and guys see split actually this is the expression or maybe you can call it text and this is a delimiter what is the delimiter with a space tab or you know percent uh, like you know m, m percent or pass separator or something like that whatever you have and this is a limit like for, uh, for how many suppose if if it, if this is a string separated by comma so you want to limit this by three four five or whatever you can put that and this is the compare thing like if you want this text by text comparison if you want this case sensitive so this is all about that okay and you can see this is the example which we have put this is the file path and we have to find out the exact file name so maybe we have to find out the file name and with this split function we got the file name this is actually the function which we have used so this is very useful function when we have to split the string into multiple substrings all right and let me go back to my uh, this uh, split function uh, slide where we have expression this is the text which we want to split this is the delimiter it could be anything underscore and hyphen or pass separator and there's the limit and then there's the compare and it has three things vb binary compare and the text compare and this is actually database compare so binary compare is nothing but it actually uh perform case sensitive uh, things and now text comparison text by text and this is database compare performs a database comparison if omitted the compare argument user default value will be binary compare all right and now let's do that if you look at this example also you will understand better this is the, actually the string you are welcome this actually we want to you know uh, we want to split this uh, separated by you know uh, line character or maybe yeah we be new line so with this function we can see everything uh, you in a one line and second line r and third line welcome so this is the example so we have we have actually broken the strings this way so guys let me take you to my excel file where i can tell you some live example about a split function how a split function works in actually uh, vba guys let me show you one example in our code control r is already there and now let me go to insert module sub let me do first word count Guys, you will understand better what we are doing here. And dim text str as a string. Guys, this is actually my variable. Okay. And uh, this is called a string variable. If this equal to, I'm writing, I am your Excel trainer. Okay. I'm writing, I'm your Excel trainer. So guys, I have to understand first this, what is actually my delimiter here? So delimiter is space, all right? This actually we have to understand. And dim text string is a string, all right? And if I have to split this, so that actually is splitted a string should be stored to one variable which is called variant or which is called uh, you can say a uh, word this way as a string guys if this actually split function will get you the output in array so if you define something with open and close bracket so this actually uh, it, 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 this is actually the uh, you know array variable this is how you have to define array variable okay and if you have to write this equal to split and now you see this is the 
argument expression as a string and control space if you don't want to write you can just write some starting keyword you will get this and now what is my delimiter of course space space is my delimiter all right and now if you see that if you just see uh, msg box word word and now you can say uh, l bound l bound word okay and now if i write u bound control c guys you will understand what actually we are doing u bound so if you run this code now see what actually happens guys what if you look at this code what is my l bound of course it is zero all right it is zero and what is u bound u bound is this is zero one two three four so u bound means this is four all right guys now you understood so what is happening l bound gives you the lower limit of the array and u bound will give you the maximum limit of the array so these two things will get you the size of the array all right and now we have to understand how many words are there so now you can just say that uh, maybe you can say msg box total word count okay and then m percent this and guys understand this get you this because starts with zero array index it starts with zero but we are adding one so that you will understand better so now you see total word count are five where in this i'm your excel trainer so this is one two three four five all right so total word count are five guys trust me if you do this through or maybe with another function without you know split function it will not be easy you have to you have to find out all the you know spaces and that we have already done with simple excel function if someone has to find out total you know uh, word count how they can find out total word count very simple guys you have to find out the length of this okay minus substitute function you have to use and then this is the text and this is my old text all right and now this is actually new text because the space is uh, you know space is replaced with blank all right and again you have to uh, find out the length so what does it mean you are finding out the length of the original string and after removing the space then you are finding out the total length now you see there are total four and now you have to plus one so total five are the word if you write this is one word i am your excel trainer my friend so now you see how many word are there so you can see this is actually one and this is actually i means two this is three and this is four and this is five this is six seven eight guys this is the eight if you just copy this control c and if you just put over there inside this and now you see the result what result you are getting total word count eight so now you know we have found out total word count with a split function and this is the excel function which we have used so guys this is how you can perform the task now let me just make some data uh, maybe let me make in a new tab i'm writing or i will tell you how to run the loop also for this particular i am amit and uh, i am excel trainer i am akash i am your friend okay and i stay in um, delhi all right guys this is actually simple uh, kind of keyword we have written so here i can write a uh, quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog 
So this is also we have written. Now you know we have to run the loop from two to six. How you can run the loop from two to six, guys? Very simple, guys. If you have to run the loop for two to six, you can write in the same code for i equal to two to six. All right. Now you have to write next i. And what is i, guys? i is integer. Dim i as integer. All right. So this is actually integer. And what is my text? So you have to write over there. Active sheet dot range and now you have to write a and percent i dot value all right so this is actually the variable which we which we which keeps on changing every time and now you see this is the value but here we want in b column so you just copy this entire thing control c and now you have to replace this and then put equal to and remove this thing very simple guys very simple and run it guys okay everything comes over there so now we what did we do we have actually pasted in a column all right and now you have to do this way so again we have to write everything i can write i am it i am your excel trainer and here i am akash all right, and here I can write I am your friend, and here I can write quick clown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So, guys, understand this we have written, but we want our word count should happen in B column. So now you know that B column we have this and if you run this again, see the result. So you know these are the word count. Okay, word count. So now you see three words are there, five words are there, and now three words, and here four words. Here we have eight words. How we can find out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight all right guys this is actually amazing so we have written subroutine guys can we write a function to find out uh, suppose the way we have we look up you know we look up or you know h look up and other functions so we can write our own function or we call it udf let's write that also so that we can actually uh, uh, you know use that function anywhere in the worksheets all right in this workbook how we can write that let me go uh, to a new module so that you will understand better so any function if you write it starts with function function word um, this is actually the function okay so what we supply in this function as a reference of course that is the string so you can write text str as a string okay so if this is the string so what you will do with this string so you can write word count control c equal to split and then you can write txt str comma which is space is the delimiter and here what you can do actually you can write over there u u bound all right and let's see what result you are getting all right word count equal to word count and then you're supplying this are we getting the result guys we are not getting the result okay word count you can see word count so what is happening in this function if you decontrol r and if you go somewhere over there uh, word count you can just mention one because name should be unique okay if you just click this guys you know this function is working all right understand now this function is working this is simple function we have created where where we are finding out the word count all right if you drag this it is working three five three four eight three five three four eight guys if you write or maybe this anywhere anywhere you are writing this if you have to use this function over there how you can write word count you can just put this and then close the bracket you can see the result in front of you so guys this is how you can use this uh, word count i hope guys you understood this very well 
okay and now let me take this another example how we can uh, separate this in a new line let me go to my new sheet sorry new module and then show you that uh, like we have to uh, you know uh, arrange every word in a vertical way so that you can read that in a message box all right sub re arrange uh, rearrange names all right rearrange names uh, okay and then dim text str as string so what we are doing this is actually our string just you know copy this con sorry control z copy this control c and here you are writing this way because this is the text string has to be in inverted commas all right and now you have to split every word and uh, you know store this on a variable and read this in a message in a vertical way like after quick it should be brown in the next line and then fox jumps over the lazy dog and so on in the message box so you can write dim result as a string all right so now you have to and now you have to do something dim word as a string this is my array because we have to run the loop so that we can store all the va value from there all right control c equal to split and then txt str guys why we are writing this fun understand always if i write this function this way by default it will delimit by default delimiter is space all right so let's leave that you don't need to give this every time because we have to remove the space or split uh you know by space so you can remove that so by default delimiter is space here so what you can do you can write for uh, l l bound word to u bound all right o r d so now understand one more minute control z you can write for i equal to all right and next i what is i guys dim i as integer dim i as integer so it is getting very interesting here because everything we have to see in a message box you know every word in a new line so how you can see that since you are looping through all the keywords or all the values so what you can do uh, you can take this control c and then you can write uh, this equal to uh, this all right and then you can write this this equal to this and vb uh, new line ampersand w o r d and then i all right so what does it what 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 is meant by that if you are writing this because every value which we are getting we are giving new line character and word i all right and now msg box e s u l t result we are seeing run this and now see that quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog this is what we were expecting that all right so guys i hope you understood this code where we have you know uh, taught you how to loop through all the you know word in a you know a string because that's the only way where we can split the string uh, by some you know space so if you have suppose this line okay let me put that so what should be the delimiter guys this okay this actually slash will be our this this slash front slash will be our delimiter so here you have to mention this slash all right so it will delimit first it will read quick and then brown and so on result will be same guys okay you can see result is same so understand guys this is how you can actually uh, execute the task uh, if you have something you can split the keyword so i hope guys you understood this very well and let me tell you one more example maybe it will be amazing for you suppose you have some data this way okay let me put that uh, suppose one three let me put some data dummy data for you half way and str street and comma b a n g a l o r e bangalore 
India. All right, this is actually the address. Let me put another address also two three four five comma uh, street street road comma Delhi comma India. Guys, understand we have this kind of data. If we have to remove the space, uh, sorry, if we have to remove the city, how we can remove the city? How we can, you know, find out the city? We know that this is the same pattern is getting followed. So it's very simple, guys. If you have to write the module sub uh, extract city name, how you can do that? Understand this line of code, guys, because you are extracting the city which is not possible without you know getting into the loop so you can write uh, again dim word as string all right and then you can write dim text str as a string all right and now what you can do for i equal to um, two two three let me take that loop next i all right and take dim i comma j as integer all right you can define this way also so what is my tax string guys tax string actually equal to uh range a m percent i dot value this is my tax string all right and now <clears throat> what is my word control c equal to split text str and now understand this is amazing guys if you have to extract the city name you can just put this all right and uh, you know first let me make it b because in the b column we want our result guys understand if you are splitting this with comma because comma is the is delimiter okay and you can read this first this is zero and this is one and this is two second and second is the second is the location of my city everywhere all right because this uh, array starts with zero index zero one and two so two is the location of city so rather than put that you can just put two over there and maybe no need to define this word variable also or array all right so this entire thing control x this equal to this guys and let's see how this code works actually this is how you can define rather than running the loop again and again you know you can see that way guys you know we are getting bangalore and delhi so understand this line of syntax we work all right and now no need for j also because when we define our thought process was very simple that you know we will first run the loop in the rows all right one two three four whatever data we have and then we'll run the loop in the word but we have removed that wording of the loop loop wording and then we have actually used this and this is the second index we have to extract from this output so you can use that way also otherwise if you have to run the loop you have to run the loop this way also so i hope guys you understood this very well this is actually another style of getting the stuff or extracted or you know uh, text from the string and we can define this way and you know this actually we can define and uh, suppose if we have to write uh, you know bangalore let me do that with control e control e guys you know control e is also working here if we have the same pattern because this is a third third comma second comma after second comma one and second so over there also it is a second comma one and second comma all right so guys this is actually very super way where you can use this kind of stuff but understand this control e actually flash fill does not help you much in vba in vba you have to have this kind of scenario so where this can help you when you are doing web scrapping uh, when you are extracting data from a website if you have to extract some text from the uh, database from the large strings then a split function comes to rescue so this is the overall objective to tell you about a split function and i hope today whatever we have covered in a split function that's actually 
good to know and then keep on practicing guys thank you very much for joining the session have a wonderful day bye bye